Alrighty. Greetings, low temperature felines, and welcome to Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. So, here we are. This game, if you're unaware, is based on the best card game of all time, Gwent. Only, only right in front of Yu-Gi-Oh, but just by a little. We're going to go ahead and start a new game. Let's do... Bone Breaker. Mm, skill set test. Let's do let's do moderate. And we'll go ahead and start here. It is based on The Witcher 3, which I think was the start of Gwent. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> year 1267. War hung in the air. It sent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yaluga. In light of the threat, the realm's sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, forged alliances. And then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, me, queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ha. Ah. As the queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Meade's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem, run the Twin Kingdoms. But... Caldwell had clearly ridden hard. Drops of perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. Maybe, like, take off that uncomfortable-looking thing around your neck? Hail, your majesty. Delighted to see you in good health. The Indeed. Attended fruitfully, I hope? Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed, paper. Time will tell of what value. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt she a longing prompted you to ride out. <laughs> Indeed, Your Grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. Oh, of course it did. The strays of Sparla, the bandits, I was attend to during Your Grace's absence. The situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. Mm, oh yeah, there's decisions you can make. I forgot about that part. So, well, that's disappointing. I deliberated. Wasn't at all certain in giving you the task. I knew you to be an equally good strategist as I am a shepherdess. Okay. So my intuition said no. Yet Reynard interceded on your behalf. Your grace, they're common bandits, while the Count will have a host of men-at-arms to command. Next time, I shall trust my gut. Oof. All right, speak. What has happened? Be precise. As your grace ordained, I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. We pursued for weeks, until scouts returned, having sighted the strayed camp in the forest near Lockeren. We waited for nightfall to surprise them as they slept. Alas, it proved a ruse. We found the tents empty. Straw stuffed dummies around the fire. Soon we learned that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away, rounded our positions, and ridden to Hawksburn. I think oh my goodness. Lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. So the gold? All of it? Uh, it's stolen, Your Grace. But I shall do all in my power to recover it. This I vow. If it be your grace's wish. Dude fucked up royal, didn't he? It's not the first seven seconds. It's fine for me to say that. <laughs> After weeks in the saddle, your grace's wishes are modest. A hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Caldwell, I will now command. You, send a herald to Hawksburn. They must prepare for the queen's arrival. Air the runes, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. If you can be bothered to manage that. Do you see now, Reynard? 
I believe I foretold it would be thus. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm. Yes. And very little time. Very little time indeed. So, going to go through a brief tutorial and we'll be able to continue on with the game. I have played a bit before, but it's been a minute. I was really eager to record it. And eventually, after much deliberating and da 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 da, here we are. So let's get started. Welcome to Thronebreaker Tutorial. Before embarking on your adventure, you should get acquainted with the basic game mechanics. You can control your character using and follow the cobblestone road to reach the next stage of your journey. So it's usually a good idea to investigate, find thingies for whatever can be found. Also, I feel like this 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 part of the game is pretty neat. Like they did a pretty good job animating it. We are in control of Queen Meave, one of the sovereigns of the land. I'm not sure if this is the same Lordess, Queen of Rivia, who gave Geralt his name. That might have been a different one. Expand your army throughout the game. But to do so, you must collect gold, wood, and recruits. While on the road, you can find useful items and even new companions who will support you in battle. Don't want to miss anything. Be sure to thoroughly explore the map. This isn't my first time, man. I, I know how to do that. Talk to you. Look, they stretched her over a fire till she told them where she buried her gold. Oh my goodness. Rather die than tell them she would. But I know where she kept it. Sit tight. Get you out here. Oh, gee, thank you. It's in front of a shack with some sort of bag or something next to it. Very good. Well, thank you. Got some wood. Some more wood. And let's continue to look around. Oh. Missed that part. Okay. One more thing over here. And what's this down here? Open menu. Just getting reacquainted. It has been quite some time since I played. So let's make our way over yonder. And this looks like the secret spot. Treasure. Loot. The map makes it look a lot bigger. <laughs> to remove it, you'll need to spend some of your resources. You don't say. Have the logger sort out the matter. Our soldier, soldiers conserve their strength. Minus 25 gold. Issue the axes. Mm, let's just spend a bit of gold. Save the soldiers. Most interactive objects are clearly on your map, but not all. Some events cannot be predicted. So you best be prepared for anything. Rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that, despite his advanced age, proved very sharp indeed. Your Majesty, bandits there at the tree line. The Count's footmen, unaccustomed to escorting their queen, sought to shield her with their bodies and assumed a tight formation to do so. They were promptly knocked aside as Meade charged headlong at the bandits, brandishing her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. Charge! Get him. All right. We have our first battle. Meave was convinced the bandits would flee to the cover of the forest upon realizing their grave mistake, after all. No ordinary bandit would dare attack the retinue of a queen. Yet the strays of Spala were of a different breed. They held nothing sacred. 
Start battle. On the road's edge. This is the battlefield. You will play your cards on the bottom half, and your opponent will play on top. Units can be ranged in one of two rows. Melee or ranged. Played on one of three rows. All right, and each card has abilities. Standard battle can last up to three rounds. The first to win two wins the match. Take turns. Encountered an ambush, so they get the first turn. I do, I do like the voices. Your grace, the men await. You must lead to begin the attack. Okay. Copy of each adjacent. So we're going to save that. We will start with the Scythemen. I salt of the earth, they are, your grace. They follow you into fire. You need simply say the word. Mm hmm. Okay, Meave also has some ability. How you do that? That's this right here. I shall teach you to respect the crown, you dogs. Get him. Okay. Now we could double this, I believe. We're putting you down right next Keep to him. That copies the card. Did they now? Look out! See cover! We are bombarded! Knocked back my unit. Okay, and now we play our archer. Arbalist. Mm -mm -mm. We'll hit you. Let's break your armor. Sure thing, buddy. Okay, and now we pass the turn. The battle's not yet done. It is better to conserve our strength. Prepare for a strike that will prove decisive. Okay. Battle formation! Protect the queen! So we have to go first. Put you down right there. Okay, we don't need to use that yet. Let's get one of the Arbalists down and then we'll use Meave's ability. Okay. Can't hit from there. Arbalist at your command. Oh no, so you can't put him down if you can't. Mm, that's bad. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think I want to. Mm, fine, or fine. Alright, now I can heal him. There you go. Only slightly simpler than you, Gil. <laughs> Alright, now you I will be able to hit, I'm sure. There you go. That's two rounds. The bandit stood not a chance. And that's the first win. 
seem indeed to have gotten out of hand, to put it mildly. Neve said, arms crossed atop her shining breastplate. They've grown bold. That was after the raid on the manor, the tax collectors. I've not heard of an ambush on the high road at all. Caldwell explained, avoiding his liege's wrathful gaze. Enough, Caldwell. We must put things right. Come! The Queen's retinue set out, cavalry in front, infantry and arbalists close behind, and, following in the rear, the bandits, bound in chase. Loot. More loot. Ah, oh, I do adore this prospect. Yes, Lyria, the pearl of the north, with its hills and dales. Why, its beauty matched only by that of its queen. After three weeks in the saddle, I've my doubts, Count. We shall pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. A spell of it they deserve. To survey your army, we have to pitch camp. Alright. Expand army and give access to important information. Workshop. Okay, let's start there. I like how there's like a bit of a, a like town management element to it. <laughs> okay, let's upgrade the tent to level two then. Regional map. Okay. Command tent. That's this one. Okay. Create units and build an army from cards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Training grounds, workshop. Grayed out cards are available, but have yet to be created. Minimum of 25 cards while not exceeding your army's recruit cap. To create new cards, you need particular resources. Recruits. Conscription, post, helmet icon. Wagenberg card. Okay. Which is which one? Right here. Am I not? There we go. Damage all units on an enemy row by this unit's armor and then lose all the armor. Okay. What'd that say at the bottom? Hey, walls on wheels. They stole my idea. Hardy, har, har. Go ahead and recruit. Times two. There you go. All right, it's enough of that for now. Letters and maps. Noted increased Nilfgaardian activity in foothills of Amel Mountain near Reed Brun. Ambassador claims routine training exercises. Number of troops, quality of equipment indicate otherwise. Recommends strengthening border forces and patrols. Strays of Spala. A grand bandit group formed after the revolt in the dungeons of Spala Castle. Mainly pickpockets, racketeers, cut purses, assassins. Slings, daggers, instruments of torture stolen from Spala. Axes, saws, and hammers cleverer and bolder than common bandits. Attack heavily armored convoys, noblemen's mansions, unable to determine identity of group's leader. Hmm, I wonder if we'll figure that out later. Your Highness, artisans from 
Gradobor have prepared a new tapestry pattern for the throne room. I've included an engraving of the design. You will be pleased with it, I hope. A Centrian lion inherited from King Koran I. Bared fangs offer stunning realism, and the ancestral sword of Delans of Temeria appears as if forged in the very depths of Mahakam. I've no doubt it shall prove the castle's latest masterpiece. Masterpiece. We eagerly await your return, my lady. Gustav Perrault, Royal Steward. Okay, we don't need to go through all of these. Dear Meave, you've, you've my gratitude for attending the summit. What luck we did not put off the meeting any longer. From what my men say, armies march are kicking up a veritable dust storm across the Yoruga. Come what may, remember, you have my full and unconditional support. King Dimavand. Hmm. Well, that kind of gives you a hint as to the timing of this. You talk to your companions in the mess tent. Give them a little bit of your time. You may learn a secret or two. A bit of respite, Reynard. Uh, yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any... At ease, Reynard. At ease. Alas, I've come to fear villain might simply not be cut out to be a king, let alone a good one. Oof. A harsh judgment, Your Grace. Let's not be hasty. The prince has but 16 summers to him. And is thus fully grown. The crown he should be able to bear at his age. Yet I left the land in his care for but a few months, and look what's become of it. Bandits roam and loot unchecked. We might yet learn of mitigating circumstances, events beyond his control. Would that it were so, Reynard. Would that it were so. Elsewise, we must hope Anseus will demonstrate more wit than his brother. Though I see little chance of that either. Not very um, confident in her children, well, is she? Wearisome sitting alone. Wouldn't you prefer a lover's company? Swapping tales with the innkeep, even. Your concern, I most appreciate, Your Grace. But I prefer silence. Has it always been thus with you? Ever a man apart? Quite the contrary, Your Grace. As a youth, I gloried in company, delighted in conversation. So what was it that changed you? That delight nearly cost me my head. But do you truly not know the tale, my lady? How I came to be your departed husband's aid? I don't, but would gladly hear it. I had but 20 winters behind me when I enlisted. Yet I was granted the rank of lieutenant from the start, not by merit, but by birth. The respect of veteran officers, both my peers and seniors, that they could not grant. Nor did I deserve it. To earn that respect became my driving aim. And to seem wise beyond my years, I began spouting off about the king's decisions. This maneuver, Reginald botched. That he failed to think through. And yet elsewhere, he blundered like a schoolboy. Well brilliant strategist Reginald was not. They dubbed him the courageous, not the cunning, for good reason, I dare say. It was not long before I was clanking about in shackles. Another officer had reported me. I was charged with Les Magister. The court martial took but a quarter of an hour to deliver verdict and sentence. Jeez. Guilty of treason, and the noose awaited me. But Reginald first stayed the execution. Then ordered that I repeat every word I'd uttered about his person or deeds. Soaked with sweat, my voice cracking, I did as he ordained. Reginald listened, raptly and silently. And when I'd finished, he declared I was right. He then appointed me his personal aide. A clever lad like you, I can always use at my side. Wow. Indeed. Though hardly sharp himself, wisdom in others Reginald both recognized and heeded. It was then I swore two things. Firstly, never again to wag my tongue like a fool. Secondly, never to betray his trust. And you never did. Know what he told me moments before he passed. Trust none of them, Meave. Save Reynard. The old sod was right about that, at least. I thank you for sharing that tale, Reynard. Truly. All right. Little bit of lore there. All right. 
Okay, so just some game information right there. Let's head on back. Open the map. Alright, so that's the loot we found so far. And looks like that's our destination over yonder. Okay. Let's head back to the tent real quick. There's one more thing to check down here. Mess tent. Can't upgrade that yet. Scouts to mark the... Uh, you know, sure. That'll pay for itself sooner or later. Gain gold for every battle won. Gain recruits. Hmm. Cannot do either of these. Any of them. Workshop 2. Don't really need to increase her movement speed. We're not speed running. <laughs> this doesn't seem like the type of game you speed run, but uh, each to their own. Alright. Let us continue. Is this what I pay taxes for? To be robbed along the high road and in broad daylight, no less. Yes. Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rights, why I'd have gone round through Sodden. They told me, they told me. Lyria's a wild land, lawless, chaotic, a damn disgrace. Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rights, does this man know to whom he speaks, Sodden. thusly? Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rights, why I'd have gone round through Sodden. It must be real tough for you, buddy. Neutral morale is no impact. Low morale lowers each unit's strength, and high morale increases it by one. Looks like we're at neutral right now, so let's pray at the shrine for better days. Da 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 da. God's mercy! Whatever is this filth? Necrophages, drawn here by blood scent. For such vile monstrosities to prowl the high roads of my realm. I won't allow it. Attack! Murder. Who were these travelers whose bodies now litter the roadside? They had the look of pilgrims whose misfortune was crossing paths with the straves of Spala. The bandits had slit their throats, leaving the bodies to rot under the sun. They'd likely have known the stench would attract the attention of flesh-hungry scavengers, thus exposing the next passerbys to a horrific death. Clearly, this realization hadn't bothered them in the slightest. Lovely. Only a slightly bit macabre. A trophy is a unique type of card, and you can have only one in your deck at the time. The trophy will automatically appear on the battlefield at the beginning of the match. Lyrian Banner. The heat positively sweltering. Have we to do with some manner of sorcery? We shouldn't exclude the possibility, my lord. And great caution we must exercise. Row affects all cards in the given row and can either be positive or negative. Okay. Foglet. A stricker? I can't be sure, Your Grace. It's the first I've seen of any such thing. It's a foglet. It says it right there. They make copies of themselves and you have to, like, dodge. <laughs> Alright, Lyrian Scytheman, Arbalist. Boost a unit by 10. We'll put our Scytheman down first. Go ahead and use me's ability. Da 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 da. These carrion eaters. I know them. Appeared on my estate last spring, enticed by the corpses of those of my sheep that fell. Harmless at first, until that is, they fill their guts. Seem to become quite powerful then. Ghoul. 
Fortitude Tonic. What if I just give it to the enemy? It, okay, it doesn't let you. <laughs> no, no point just throwing the game. But I was curious. Fierce and they look true, but they bleed just as we do. Onward, slay the filth. Get him. Mm, we don't really even need to put the arbalist down, do we? We can just pass the turn. Can I not? Apparently I can't. At this time. There you go. before they had a chance to gorge. Got him. Arbalist, Arbalist, and a Scythman. Permanent Resilience. Let's put another Scythman this down. We'll be reaping black clad heads. Yeah. Your Grace, yet more come. They fill their bellies, ma. This doesn't bode well. Oh no, not well at all. Don't be a weenie. Okay, so we must play a card, which means we must hit ourselves. What if we put you over here? Okay, there you go. There you go. Grown. And Al Ghul. Use what was it, Yerdin? They lose all instinct to survive. Feel no pain, whatever. I've witnessed this before. Your Majesty, we must give ground. Fall back. We can't win. Must minimize our losses. Nah. Hit him harder. Oh. My queen. There is no shame in seeding the field when fortunes turn sour. If the round isn't going your way, it might be best to pass your turn and save your strength for the next one. But remember, you can pass only at the beginning of your turn, before you have played any cards or abilities. I see. Sorry, Arbalist. Looks like you're dying. So we have to yield that round. Which means we get to keep our previous card. Victory must be ours now. We shall not retreat. Arms at the ready. Attack! Don't think too hard about the voracious Algol. Yet another abomination. Playing cards. <laughs> my salts. Where are my salts? His salts. Synergies that exist. Synergies, you say. I know all about synergies. I play Isaac. Damage all units. Should wait to the end for that. Okay, I, I guess I have to use it now. Let's see. So if I play... Oh, it's not going to let me do that right now. Rot Fiend and an Al Ghul. No, see, you hit the Rot Fiend and it hits everything nearby. That, that's how you get him. Get him. It only did one, though. Have to play you there. Discipline shall bring us victory. Yeah. Hit the rot fiend. Uh, 
Gosh, snap. We're winning. Or hit him again. Twenty-five or nineteen. <laughs> for some reason, I thought it was ten for a moment there. The chance against us. Victory is ours. We did it. Loot. See what else we can find. My beloved, please write as soon as you reach the temple. I know only two weeks have passed, but my heart weighs heavy with the thoughts of you. Our home feels empty without you. I hope our offering, though modest, will please the mother goddess. With her blessing, we shall have a child at long last. I've no doubt you'll make a loving father and husband. Please be vigilant and return to me soon. Forever yours, Frilk. Tough luck there, buddy. I don't think it worked out. Loop. A mild speed increase wouldn't be the worst thing. <laughs> Hello there, Governor. Many trees we felled, my lady. Might you have need of them? So, take whatever your heart desires. The Don't mind if I do. Strays. Well, we'll treat them like strays. Yeah. The builder breaks with crown brick. A one, a two, the pillar grows thick. We're near no bandits here. Not surprising, neither, for we'd chase them off with our hatchets, we would. Yeah. Wait, is there a path? No. Gotta keep your eyes open for secrets. Signposts unlock the ability to fast travel. Always useful. I hear tell that they finally added a signpost to Crow's Perch. Blessed be the days of our of ourselves. Although I don't know. I don't know for sure. Spinnies. Okay. Lady, the masks they wear. Have you seen them? They fang, snouts, horns. Like a right proper nightmare. Your Majesty, I beg of you. Crash them bandits. Please. Scared to step out into me own fields, I am. I'll get them. Okay, next story event. Retinue arrived at Hawksburn. The men stationed there they found standing at attention, baking under the blistering noonday sun. Your Majesty, Count Coldwell. Stand at ease, Sergeant, and report. The local peasants we've rounded up in the yard, Your Grace. Expect they might have learnt the bandits' age. Yet our courtesy hadn't inspired them. They haven't peeped a word. Might it please Your Grace to summon the hangman? He ties a noose of for him, should have him jabbering right quick. I'll speak to them first. Your Majesty, for the Queen to question commoners, why, it's simply not proper. Whom for? I shan't be stripped of crown and titles for it, so no impediment do I see. Lead me to them. Bow low for your sovereign, Her Majesty, Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia. Have mercy, Your Grace. We bear no guilt, we simple folk. Lyria, the city. Ever been to the castle there? Nay, milady. I never ventured from his home, truth be told. Farthest I went was... Uh, was... It has a dungeon. And in that dungeon, I have a special cell I call Sessie. Now, Sessie's not much. A round ditch with an iron grate over its opening. But you see, Sessie is so 
narrow, so tight that once inside her, you cannot move. <laughs> not turn, not crouch, not lift an arm. Prisoners dropped in the bitch's embrace stand there for weeks in their own excrement until they lose their minds or worms eat them alive. You know, she could have just said, like, hey, listen up, this is serious. Did you mess up? Nah, we, we have to do the whole you thing. To make. Tell me what I must know. Oh, live your days. Have mercy, your lady. Nay. Now tell all, all, everything. The bandits. Whom do they follow? Him, my lady. We've seen him. No name, just an odd title. The Duke of Dogs, they call him. My. A blue blood thoroughbred mutt. Where are he and his hounds bound? Did he say? Varicol, Imogen? What do you name me? A Gleaton or something? Clayton. Lord Clayton. His estate lies to the south. Sound the horns. Have the men form up. Milady! Ah, but no eye for the Duke. He's a good man. Gave us proper brass for the welcome we gave him. Shared what grub he had. Shut it, louts. The Queen's had her say. Your grace, your orders. What are we to do with them? The choices you make will have consequences. Some may be felt immediately, while others may take time. Choose carefully. Press the men in service and set the women free. Whip some sense into them. Eh, I could always use more soldiers. The Duke of Dogs fed you, so you've strength enough to carry arms. And as he gave you coin, you've no need of pay from the realm's coffers. Sergeant, all men of 15 summers or more will join our ranks at once. They'll serve five years. No, my lady. No, tis mere weeds to harvest. Full tent at fields. Me set off toward Lord Clayton's estate at a gallop, her mouth knocking the peasants aside as it kicked up a cloud of dust. Okay. The of Hawksburn spoke of the royal visit long after, albeit ever behind closed doors and in hushed tones. Oof. We seem to have made a rough decision. I'm sure it'll be fine. A notice board, you say? A puzzle. Point of interest. What is this, Raynard? Bandits attacking royal tax collectors in broad daylight. They shall pay dearly, Your Grace. They shall indeed. And not only they. Rot has crept into Lyria, Raynard. My kingdom has been poorly kept. Okay, so I believe there was something to give us gold after every victory. Every battle. Gain a recruit after every battle. Hmm. Oh, you have to start with training grounds though, huh? Yeah, okay. Hmm, we can do this. But we don't have any trinkets at the moment, I think. So we'll just save up for now. Hello there. Your Grace, two of your subjects humbly request aid. Yarplek and Wilmer, they called themselves. Seems a waxen wagon axle snapped, and they've need to hurry to the market. Some of the camp oversee, have them see what can be done. Lose some wood, gain gold, a few pieces of gold. Mm, let's gain a bit of gold. Ooh, what's down there? Miss some wood.
Okay. Can't get in there yet. Anything more over here? A stray of Spala was found inside the dwelling. He was wounded during the siege and then abandoned his comrades. The location of the spoils he offered to share, that is. If we spare his life. Hmm. So lose some morale, gain a map. We can sacrifice a bit of morale. Underneath the waterfall. Yeah, we're going to fight some rocks. In a flash, Raynard leapt from Meave, wrestling the queen from her saddle. Had he arrived a moment later, Meave would have met her fate under a massive boulder. Alas, she was not yet free from danger. The entire escarpment had begun to collapse onto the road along with the temple wall that stood atop it. The screams of crushed and dying soldiers cast a somber shadow upon the queen. Yet she needed to collect her wits and act quickly to establish control over her units. Destroy all the boulders. It seems we have a puzzle battle. Some battles are subject to special rule sets where strength alone is not enough to win. To be victorious, you must complete specific goals. On the exploration map, such battles are marked with a puzzle. Okay. The bluff crumbles! Fall back! Save yourselves! Your Grace, the wagon, we can use it as cover. Forward, we must move it forward. Sure thing. What now? Summon your comrades, damn it! Chop chop! Before I reach for my whip! Arbalist in the melee row. Okay. Okay, that's one. I would have you liked to have used uh, its special move sooner, but all right. Could he use it sooner when there were two on the same row? Oh, we've come through, Raynard. I thank you. There was a better way to do that. That would have been more optimal. Or someone. There's not we can do here. We ride on. Take that. Pays to look around. Hello there. A peasant cart loaded with a heap of hay came rattling down the road from the opposite direction. Clear the road! Bellowed Count Caldwell, standing in his stirrups. Make way for your queen! The peasants obediently turned their cart into the roadside nettles. As she passed, Meave glanced towards it and froze. Atop the hay bale lay a badly wounded man gripped by fever. The thick, sweet stench of rot wafted from his bandaged legs. Gods. Who did this to him? Meave asked. Bandits? Nay, milady, replied the cartman. Twere a beast. Out to the east, down Whittleton Way, lies a boneyard. Old as the elves, they say. The peasant continued. Crittum was setting snares round about there. Came running back to us. Drenched in blood, rattling on about a long haired wench come climbing out a grave. We've taken him for the good sisters of Militale here on the beach. Perhaps they can help him. I'm certain they can, and will, replied the Queen, though just looking at the wounded wretch, 
She knew he'd expire before nightfall. God speed you on your journey. The queen whistled, and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, your grace? Caldwell asked. One of those freaks should make short work of the monster. Until we apprehend the bandits, I shan't allow a single soul to leave our company. Even on such an important mission as finding a witcher. Meave replied. Any who did would be captured at once. But, if fate brings us near Wetterton, perhaps we'll see to this monstrous Harridan ourselves. Your grace. We've only just fought beasts and scarcely escaped with our lives. This she-beast will take a silver sword. Magic formula. Yet a dozen arbalists will have to suffice. The queen said, calmly but firmly. And please, Caldwell, do stiffen your spine a bit. Now onward. No toss a coin to your witcher? Alright, we're on our own. All right, so let's look around a bit. There's quite a bit to explore. We could start with heading what I presume to be north into the temple. watches over us all yet you do well to remind her through supplication supplication there is ever time for prayer even as war rages all around battle down there locked See if we can find our way around then. Traveling the high road, they heard the bells of a temple to Mother Military, situated at some distance. Meave turned towards Raina. What have we today? A sacred feast? Not that I recall, Your Grace. The Queen's brow darkened, her hands clenched into fists on her reins. Then they sound the alarm. Follow me. Stained glass shards glinted in the grass. Bits of down ripped from quilts wafted through the air. The priestesses gathered in the yard were seeing to wounded pilgrims, setting toppled, oft beheaded or armless statues back on their feet. What happened here? The strays of Sparla fell upon us. Sighed the prioress. Stole the offerings, the monstrances, the holy books. My lady. I implore you, come to our aid. Recover what's rightly ours. Ever clever, Meave scouts soon discovered the bandits' tracks. They led to some thick hazel groves east of the temple. The perfect place to hide or to lie in ambush. Ambush, you say? It's all come clear now. Sabotage. It was the bandits who weakened the walls. The good mother warned us. Hard times lie ahead. My mama told me there'll be days like this. Right, let's continue to explore as we work our way around. Ooh, a puzzle. Mm. Got low morale though. Nah, yeah, it'll be fine. Hello there. This sacred cemetery once been an oasis of peace, a place of player, player, prayer, reflection, and meditation. Alas, necrophages now scuttle among exhumed graves, and human bones litter its grounds. The priestesses believe the beast's sudden appearance heralded some impending woe. Yet in what form? What fate arrived, await, awaited Lyria and its people? Weaken each enemy to one power. Okay. 
So we need to weaken each enemy to one. Damage all units in this row by four. So we need to hit them hard. Decoy will come in handy for that, I'm sure. Hmm. Let's try you. Hmm. Okay. We keep going until we use up all our troops. <laughs> Don't sound too excited. Dang it. Let's try that again. Two light infantry on the right. Can't take any more. Damage a random enemy by five. Oh, that's when they die. So you could hit your own dudes. Yeah, that seems ethical. It seems a bit luck-based, though. <laughs> so maybe not the best tactic. Okay, bear in mind they do additional damage based on everyone next to them. Okay. Now, if we do this, a lesson in humility coming now. Okay, we can lower you to five by five, rather. Lower you by six. Okay. Mm mm mm. Okay, got one back. One goes. I see. I think you're supposed to, better to space them out, right? So, all right, let's try that one more time. Can't put them all down in the same row, apparently. Give me a time. Okay, what if we put you down now? A lesson in humility coming now. Reduce you to four. Reduce you to by four. Reduce you by five. One goes. No, that's turning out even worse. Yeah, no, no, no. Give me a time. Hmm. I suppose you have to rely on the light infantry thing. And hope it doesn't um ruin your day. Isn't that the truth? Okay, so if we move you to the other row, 
Put you down next to you. That's not what I meant to do. Dang it. <laughs> okay, I think I'm on the right track with that. Okay. Light infantry down. Move you to the other row. Hit you. Down by five. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, that's one to two. Let's pick you back up again. And go ahead and move you down there. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Okay. One bolt. There you go. Let's move you up there. Yeah, I think we got it. Oh, wait. Fiddlesticks. Hey, we did it. <laughs> okay. That wasn't so bad. Now it's time for the loot. What do we have here? Milady, a monster has defiled one of the tombs I laid waste to sacred graves. Bones littered floor and treasures enough to fill our coffers. A war is on, your grace. Surely the dead need have no need for it, right? No further desecrations shall befall this place. Leave the treasures and seal the tomb. We need the morale. Especially if we're about to go into an ambush. How do I get there? Gimme. May the mother goddess watch over you. Your majesty, you return. Our prayers have been answered. Alright. That puts us into green morale. Let's look for the next fight. Time heals all wounds, they say, and the memories fade, that the nightmares would end and my pain would cease. Yet eight years have passed since I left the world behind, not but prayer, confession, and reflection. I wonder still how my life might have been, had different had I refused that last mug of ale. Had I noticed the child, had I pulled back on the reins more quickly. I prayed for forgiveness once, now I pray for only for an end, and may it come swiftly. Well, it looks like it did there, buddy. Don't drink and drive, folks. Loot. I like how you find the key and then immediately find the use for it. Unless that key can be used anywhere and, like, it's tricking you or something. I don't know. Hello there. The bandits had pitched camp in a nearby wood. Spirits buoyed by the wine they'd stolen from the cloister cellar, the brigands had not posted sentries. Another round to the sisters! <laughs> Reeves' soldiers were eager, insistent. The desecrators would be punished. If only the queen could order the assault. Get him. Time we put these strays on a leash. Spat the queen, spurring her horse. Two arms! Follow me! Tankards clattered to the ground as the strays reached for their weapons. The brigands would not even fathom giving up without a fight. 
Good. Formalitele. Had the brigands chosen to hide in the dense forest to station a guard, this battle might never have come to pass and they might have slipped away with their prize. Alas, they were drunk on victory and confidence, or perhaps, perhaps the gods, thirsty for vengeance on blasphemers, had dulled their vigilance. Prevent three gold wagons from escaping. There's quite a few puzzle battles. It's basically like... I want to say more than half. At the beginning of the round, you can redraw up to six cards. Get rid of cards from your hand that you do not wish to play. Okay. Scythemen are good. No, I think we're good with what we got. Nah. Okay, what shall we start with? A scytheman, of course. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Horse thief. Okay, we'll save the arbalist for later. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, a time to die. I love the scythemen. <laughs> Their confidence is wonderful. You. You dirty rat. I... Yeah, how you like that? What you looking at? Regroup. Use its ability next turn. Ooh, that hurts. See if he's had any coin in his pockets or his own. There you go. Let's see. We need one more before we can hit this one for six. Oh yeah, we need to be attacking the wagons, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that did something. You might have got away I did not be falling so damn much. Keep hitting him. Oh, it escaped. We got a job to do. I think we're supposed to, I'm supposed to be stopping that. Mm-hmm. Just boost our units for now. We do have to play a card though. Okay, I guess we'll do no. Now we can end the turn. There's another wagon. 
I guess it would have been a good idea to have more Arbalists, wouldn't it? Um, we're just gonna pass, though. Let them play out all their cards, and we'll try again next round. Is it a... It's a shortened battle, okay. So, yeah, we need more Arbalists. Two light infantry is fine. Because you can hit them, right? Mm, don't really need that. No. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let's try that. So we put down you first. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Mm. I don't think it matters too much, but we do want them to survive, so. I presume. See if he's had any coin in his pockets. Or his own. Okay. So I think we want to put all of the light infantry down right away just so we can hit the wagon as hard as we can let's see it's gonna hit them four seven eight not quite enough just need to hit him for two more, though. What you looking at? And they got away. Wonderful. Regroup. I'm a okay, there's another one. You might have got away had you not been falling so damn much. Mm. That row is full. Damn. So, not quite enough. Who's the lowest unit? Am I going to pass me those lovely earrings? Or do I tear them off myself? Damage all the units. That should be enough to hit finish off, which we can't use its effect yet. Okay. <laughs> really do be like Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. Move you down here. Army's wasted time for one like me. For all the good it does. Alright, there's another wagon. Got it that time. Think about slings. They are well. Okay, then. Mm. Chance to summon another Arbalist. Left, right. Mm. 
Let's see. It's adjacent or you, okay to anyone. Company, forward march. Okay, so y'all get your orders back. Nice. Oh, send you up there. Again. Who is low? The marked ones. Okay. What do you do? Summon all copies of it, self. And that's it. And we're forced to pass. Hey, we did it. So, sort of a puzzle battle. King's company defeated the bandits and recovered the loot. Silver chalices, reliquaries lined with mother of pearl, gold embroidered robes. The priestesses would be grateful to have their treasures returned, Your Grace. They would pray ardently for your victory. Reynard opined. Yes, you could also keep the silver, expended on the war effort. And who's to say which prayer or coin would be more useful? Obviously, the money. But we'll return it and be good little boys and girls. The queen said, after a pause. Yet this can't justify a lapse in principles. No. We must defend them all the more. Meave ordered everything returned to the priestesses. All of it, down to the last gulden. Moved by the Queen's gesture, some of the novitiates joined Meade's ranks, aiming to bring succor to any Lyrian wounded in battle. Queen and company rode off with no gold to show for their toil, but most certainly richer in spirit. Oh, gee. Oh, cool. Free medic. What's this? My dearest strays, once you've relieved the pious priestesses of their unnecessary baubles, make your way south to the estate of Lord Clayton. Wards got round his ways quite a sum for the dowry of his not so comely daughter. That's just rude. But can love be built upon a mound of coin? I think not. Let's save the poor lad from an unhappy marriage, shall we? Your Duke of Dogs, Earl of Mutts, High King of Huckleberries, his trampy highness, his sparky lordship. Gee. Sure you can bind a rabid dog. Tie his four legs together. But you'll not stop him from lashing out and biting. Arrow! You bested us, aye. But you'll not find the Duke of Dogs near as easy prey. Oh, no. You bested us, aye. Talk a real big schmack for being, you know, having your head bowed before someone else's sword. So we could upgrade our army at this point, but I'm not going to yet. What's all this then? The strays of Spada, Spala slaughtered the entire villages. Witness claim folk had refused the brigands' aid. How... Have we the coin to give these poor souls a proper burial? Yeah, why not? Is that a draconid I see down there? Wood. More wood is needed. Hello there. It is not curious how priestesses so earnestly implore others to put their faith in the goddess's protection, yet surround themselves with walls. Nine feet tall and only three feet thick, made of solid stone, a better guarantee of safety than even the most fervent of prayers, no doubt. Given the area in which they choose to erect their temple, this was probably for the best. Standard battle. Ok, 
Okay, so this is all about power. I would like to see like a Reynard. Perfect. Okay. Although none of you have a charge. The drummer does. So does that. It's a fork tail. After four turns, consume the lowest unit. I see. Well, best this keep my units high. Reaping black clad heads. As a kite. My spirit's willing and how but these damn boots are killing. Oh no. You ate my guy. The absolute audacity. Maybe I should not let it spawn a harpy. Yo, know, it's it spawned a harpy anyway. Oh, I see. The eggs appear and they feed the draconids. They passed. Okay. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Alright. Now we can pass after playing one more card. Mm, gonna have to waste a scytheman. There we go. Okay, that's the first round for us. All right. Um, let's send one of these back. Yeah, I'll take that. Can't take it anymore. Yeah, we can bait its consuming ability to eat the the light infantry and that'll cause damage to itself. I wonder if it'll consume them all at once. Probably. Oh, shit. <laughs> sure enough. Ooh. Pay dearly for it, though. Should save the Arbalist for last. Left, right, left, right. Oh boy. Again, again, again. What do you do? Summon all copies of itself. Sure. Pays late. Again. Okay. So let's start hitting. No, not yet. Yeah, we'll hit the fork tail. And we need to play a card now. One, two. I might be able to finish it, huh? At least the fork tail. There you go. That threat is done. 
Oh, look, another one. <laughs> you think it's over, but it's just begun. Wow. Forgot to use Meave's ability. Oh dear. Okay, hopefully the warned Wagenberg survives the turn. Oh, I see. That unit needs armor in order to function, huh? Company, forward march! Gained one armor there. Ah, nice. Listen to me, old lady. Time I taught you some respect. Probably should have waited. Yeah, I think I should have waited there for one more. That's fine. Couldn't really play for another turn there. It'll be a bit close. Hey, we won. Not bad. So see, it's easy. It's a numbers game. You just have a bigger number. <laughs> Fortune smiles upon us. These priestesses bought my story. Blubbering and all, they accepted me as a pupil, and getting my hands on the Seleki was the tricky part. Still, I've gotten it now, too. They've riches stacked to the ceiling. Gods be praised indeed. Wait for me tomorrow night at the foot of the embankment on the south wall. I'll carry what I can manage. Keep an eye out. Probably just a wives' tale, but I got a word of some nastiness has taken root in the wood. Well, it seems they found it. Or rather, it found them. A most unfortunate circumstance. For them... Okay, anything else to do here? Melitile will not forget your sacrifice. Better not. Anything else? Nice garden. Nice temple. Thank you, Your Majesty. On our own behalf and on that of our pilgrims. Your Majesty, the priestesses of Melitile implore you to leave an offering. The Mother go Goddess uh, smiles upon those who bow before her altar, they say, and leave a gift of gold at the, her feet. Well, we gain much. A card fragment, you say. Very interesting. Glad we didn't miss that, though. What more is there to find? This leaves us back through here. Okay. Down, down, down to the crossroad. I'm loot. I miss loot. Where did I miss loop? Oh, I see it. Mine. I cannot fast travel that way. I have to be next to a signpost, I see.
there's a puzzle battle here. Maybe we'll end on that. What do you say? Little dapple. Rushing waters. Me stood on the banks of a badger run. A modest river with a strong current and dark reputation. Fishing boats overturned, clothes ripped from the hands of washerwives, and children playing on the bank swept away in a flash. The locals have long su suspected that something malicious resides underneath those raging waters. Eliminate all the drowners. Do not let any allies die. It takes just one damage to turn uneven into an odd. You don't say. Battle will last only one round. Eliminate all drowners. Every turn on the turn start, if this unit's power is even, switch rows and damage all units on the opposite row by two. So we want to make them all odd, I suppose. Okay. I think we want to start with the war rag wagon. You can try to win them all, but you won't. I can try though. Okay, so yeah, that's not how you do that. <laughs> all right. Just because they're past doesn't mean they don't do anything, right? Uh, you're not going to survive, though. Okay, so yeah, that's not how you do that. Hmm, should I start with this? No. Okay. And then if I do this. Okay. Ooh. Frick. leaves all but one okay now I just need to pick you back up right frick <laughs> yeah, let's try this again seem to be on the right track track there Maybe we pick you up sooner. Give me a okay. That'll put them all on the same row. Very good. Which means they won't move, right? Okay. So we put you down now. There you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Son, damn collector stopped by Hawks Hawksenberg again. And once again we survive by the skin of our teeth, so our beloved queen can import yet another Zeracanian rug. Devil's take her, I say. Gather anything worth of the co in the cottage and wrap it in greased sheepskin. Take it to the field among the sheaves to bury it. These cursed collectors will just have to make do with what pittance we give them. Oh, someone was holding back, I see. Well, you got what you had coming to you there, buddy. 
Though whether or not they had it coming, I suppose, is debatable. Should the peasants give all to the one who has much already? Okay, let's head to the crossroads down here. And we will end it off right there. Okay, how do you save? Load the save and exit to main menu. Never trust the autosave. We have all learned this. Alright, so thanks so much for joining me. And I hope to see you in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Later.